In this overview, we're going to talk about the eyedropper and paint bucket tool. Uh, these are tools that I use all the time to really source and extract colors from a source. So in this example, uh, we're going to use the CorelDRAW X5 uh, you know, design, uh, but you could use a photograph, you could use a, an existing logo uh, to really extract the color from that particular design. So the first thing I like to do is typically draw a, a box or a circle just to manage the colors that I create. So I just drew a, uh, a square and I duplicated it to create a few different uh, you know, color palettes here. So first, let's go and select the eyedropper tool. Notice where my mouse is now hovering. It says eyedropper tool. This is going to allow you to go into your design and it's going to specify the RGB values, the red, green, and blue values from uh, your source. So in this particular example, if I want to pinpoint that specific shade of red, I can zoom in there. I can go ahead and left mouse click one time and you can see in two particular areas we have the selected color. We have selected color here and at the very bottom right hand corner where my mouse is hovering. But notice uh, my eyedropper tool has now transformed into a paint bucket. That allows me to go into my design and left mouse click one time and place that particular color. Now we want to toggle right back to our eyedropper tool. So let's go back in the very upper left hand portion and let's say uh, select color. Now before I move on to that, I want to make something importantly clear. Notice where it says add to palette. What I can do is I can add this particular color right to my document palette. How do we get our document palette? Well, we can go to window, or excuse me, tools. We can go to dockers. And this is something that's new to, uh, to CorelDRAW and I think this is really slick. In fact, I'm sorry, it's under the window, uh, drop down menu, uh, color palettes, and then document palette. So this is going to show you all the colors that you have in your particular document. In fact, I opened up some extra documents um, earlier, so that's displaying from all the different pages that you might have available and open to you. So I'm going to move my palette over here, and so it's a little more clear. We'll go back to our eyedropper, and I'm going to sample this shade of yellow. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to the box. Do you see how that yellow automatically was mapped into our design, or into our document palette, which is really, really slick. We'll go back and take this really cool shade of blue, and we'll place that into a square. That's now added to our document palette. And let's go grab a few more uh, distinct colors here. Here's a nice little purple color that's added to our document palette. And let's go and add a final color here. Let's see, let's choose, how about this shade of green down here? So you can see how we just extracted those colors uh, from a source object. We've created a palette here that we can use, or we can simply use the document uh, palette uh, that's available to us. So this is a great new function that uh, is in Corel X5. So I can delete my source. I always have a palette here on my screen to, to work with. So if I want to set up a new design, I can drag and drop a color from uh, my document palette, or I can use a color that's already in my particular design. So that is using the eyedropper and the uh, paint bucket tool set uh, from CorelDRAW X5.